So for the past couple of weeks, I've been using the Insta360 Ace Pro, which is their new action camera, but by far the most interesting feature of this camera is the AI Warp. Now this is a kind of chat GPT AI prompt editor. It's only compatible with the Ace Pro. So you go out, shoot some footage, go to the app, go to the shot lab, you'll see AI Warp, and you'll see this whole process of being able to edit your videos using an chat prompt, or there are some also some predetermined effects there but I just wanted to kind of go through the process of doing this and show you some of what I could what I've made because I think it's actually a really awesome new thing that I really wasn't expecting I just wanted to deep dive into this feature let's just go through the whole process now and I'll show you what it can do so yeah here we go we are at the um, AI well we're in the shot lab area of the app and as you can see, there's all these other effects, but right at the top there is the AI warp. As you can see, it offers these kind of stylized uh, AI editor, so it, it has a whole thing here showing you how to do it, but I'm going to go through the process with you a couple of times, and we'll see how creative we can get and how these kinds of effects work. So it's pretty simple, just click on use the theme, now we're going to go down and find a video. So I used this one before in a video I made earlier. It's pretty good. So now you need to choose a kind of four second clip. So unfortunately it only works uh, at the moment up to four seconds. There we go, I've edited down to about five, six seconds. So I've got a six second clip there. And then just press next. So now I can select from that six second clip a four second part. So pretty much just start there. So you, this is what the video looks like without any AI effects. And now this is where we can start to, yeah, choose what kind of effect we want. So at the bottom here, you'll see um, these kind of predetermined cyberpunk, space, retro, anime, sci-fi, vox, voxel, I'm not sure what that means. But this will basically change your whole video to look well, give that effect to the whole video. Well, and as you can see here, you can also select your own style. So you can click custom. And this is where you add your prompt. So I could say, what could I say? I could say, turn into a rainforest. That's my prompt, and that will apply it to the whole video. So let's, should we see if that works? Let's see if that works. So once you've done that, click make AI video, and it's gonna upload. Now, this is gonna take a while. It takes, for me, a couple of minutes to upload, and then another couple of minutes for it to process. So yeah, we will jump to that bit now and skip all of this uploading business. Okay guys, so now it's finished kind of uploading to the server and you'll see here that uh, there is kind of a waiting time. It says in the queue, please wait a minute. And usually it just takes a couple of minutes for it to start the process of making the uh, video and then that will again take a couple of minutes. You, you can also preview the effect before you start generating so you can see roughly what's gonna happen. So if you just select one of the presets, press the preview button and it will take about 10 seconds and it will give you a preview image of the kind of effect that's gonna happen. It's not gonna be a preview video, but it'll be a preview image, so you'll kinda see the effect it's gonna give. You can also do this with the custom prompts, typing your custom effects, your custom prompt, and press preview, and once again, wait about 10 seconds and it will give you a preview of what it might look like before you start processing that video, because it does take some time. So uh, yeah, it's definitely worth previewing the effect before you start generating it. So as you can see now, the effect is uh, generating and it says it's gonna take 284 seconds. So we can exit this area and we can even start to make another one. Um, if you wanted to see how the progress was uh, going, just go back to the AI warp effect and press down here on the bottom left hand corner is where you'll see the queue for your AI effects. But let's try another one. Let's um, go for something a bit different and I can show you how to um, kind of select a specific part of your of your clip. Let's go for this one because it has me in it. So we're gonna once again crop it down and I walk in there. So that will do. Click next and then we'll select our four seconds. So once again we're at this page where we could select to change the whole thing to cyberpunk space or we can uh, select our own prompt. But also you'll see here it says smart draw. So if I tap on that, I can now use a brush to select one part of the video that I wanna edit. And 
it won't change anything else or it shouldn't change it that much but if you just want to select one part of the video uh, for example a person or a building or an animal you can do that so let's go ahead and do that I'm going to select myself just literally by brushing tapping on the screen you can zoom in so press uh, the tick button and as you can see it's selected the uh, it's no it knows what I'm talking about it's selected me so now I can custom prompt that I don't know what prompt shall I do change into an alien there we go so now once again just tap make AI video and it's gonna take another couple minutes to upload that and to generate it and then I will be back with the final results once again <laughs> So definitely a limitation of this effect right now is that it does give a similar stylized effect no matter what you kind of prompt it to do, no matter what kind of effect you choose, it's still a similar kind of stylized and once again yeah it's only limited to 4 seconds, I mean that's kind of extended. It round about eight if you include the pre and post effect. So yeah, it's it's very short clips. You're not gonna be able to edit entire full length videos like this, but the reason why I'm kind of excited about it is because it is like kind of the start of this process. If we can do this now in a couple of years, we may be able to edit entire videos just using prompts editing with text, editing with prompts, editing with AI. So yeah, this is the first camera or the first ecosystem I think to have anything like this. I'm sure you'll agree the effects themselves are pretty cool to look at first. You can get creative, uh, they are different depending on what you prompt the app to do, but obviously may get a bit gimmicky and a bit old quickly because there are only four seconds, but it's more what this means for the future. If we can do this now, what is the possibility even in like one or two years time? So yeah guys, that's the process of making your AI warp videos using the kind of AI prompt in the app. And yeah, like I said, I think it's super creative innovative and something a bit different. At the moment it's only available with the Insta360 Ace Pro but it is software so who knows maybe this will be available for other Insta360 cameras as well. Most definitely my favorite feature of this camera, most interesting and pretty much the reason I agreed to test it out and try it because usually I stick to 360 stuff but with this for the AI stuff it was definitely worth it. Do you think this is a gimmick or do you think it is kind of the start of a new revolution in like editing your videos on the fly with using just text? If you're interested in getting the Ace Pro, check the link in the description. I believe with that link you can get a free t-shirt if you want a t-shirt or uh, I think 20% off the Insta360 Care if you want to get that in case you're worried about damaging the camera. There's 20% off that until the end of the year. So I'll be doing a comparison between the, the latest GoPros. Ooh, wire. So yeah, uh, subscribe if you want to see that. But until next time guys, I'll see you around. Bye.